Once he gets in that car, he's getting a chance of losing her. If we've been true trying to find her, that's the last thing I want. Thank you, Mr. Talbot. Man, I thought she spotted us for sure. I swear I thought we had it. Ah, uh, with the last thing on her mind. She's had four years to live high. Yeah, we were ever alive. Probably take an introduction for her to recognize us. What do we do now? We'll follow her. Maybe we'll find some quiet little place to introduce ourselves. ourselves a favor and get on off of here, huh? Come on, huh? Take my hand. My fingernails, the least you can do is look at me. Don't ask your opinion. Don't ask your You did. You did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. If you wanted it any other way, you could have done it alone, quiet, with no one to stop you. But I'll show you. No, no, no. Just, just hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me finish. I don't know. But I think you're here because you wanted something. You needed someone. Are we here? I mean, we're here. I'm here. Look at me, man. I'm here. I've got my life on the line, too. your help. I won't make it off of here alone. So come on, take my hand. Take my hand. Take my hand. That's right.
Come on, pull back, pull back. Do it a little bit. Come on, pull back. That's the hardest half I can tell. It looks just like my husband did. Thank you, man. We'll take it from you. Thank you very much. Out. It's only a couple of blocks around. I said no. Uh, I mean, this is a good idea. Why don't you guys just drop me off there? Okay, now just take it slow, huh? Get your glasses. All right. sick man. Now, if you'll stay still, maybe we can get some answers. Look, Tom, I got a lot of things to do. I'm okay, I tell you. Now, I just got a little dizzy. Will you let me out of here? You always this irritable, or is this something new since the fever and the rest? Now, look, stay here, please. I'll be right back. I'm glad you didn't leave yet. Is he all right? No, he's not. I'd say he's pretty sick. Listen, this is a small clinic. We haven't got the facilities the bigger hospitals do. Do that guy a favor. Get him to a hospital. Do yourself a favor. Go with him. Why? What's wrong with him? Oh, without a blood test, I can't tell for sure. Could be nothing more than the flu. But if I was making the kind of money some of the doctors I know are, I'd bet half a year's pay that it's viral meningitis. Viral meningitis? <laughs> That's, uh... Pretty contagious disease, right? It could hit like a bomb if it ever got out of hand. Meningitis is spread through the respiratory tract. The carrier of coughs near someone, breathes on them, anything that involves intimate contact with another individual. Oh, boy. <laughs> I guess there's uh, no more closer contact than getting someone mouth to mouth, right? Well, the blood test they give you a man at the hospital will be a lot surer. But if I were you, I'd get him there right now. I sure hope you're not as sure as you sound, huh? Now what do we do? You talk to your people, I talk to mine fast. Late 30s, about 5'10", 185 pounds. It's all there in my report, Lieutenant. Maybe a name or an address or something? No. They might have something at the clinic. They uh, had them fill out a card. I'll have Webster check it out. I'll do it. I, uh, <clears throat> I said Webster. You're going to be tied up somewhere else. I got word from the health department. They received a call from Dr. Miller, and they would like you to check yourself into a hospital. What for? Observation. We don't know if this guy has meningitis, Lieutenant. All it is is a guess on Miller's part. It's a pretty educated one, Willie, my boy. I'll give you another one. Would you like to bet where you're going to be in a half hour? Okay. Do I at least get my choice of hospitals? By all means. Thank you, sir. 
Take that cup with you. I'll leave it in here. You drank out of it. <clears throat> you know, you really know how to make a guy feel good, Lieutenant. See ya. to a clinic or so. That's all he did? He didn't bust you? He didn't run a sheet? What do you want? As far as the cop was concerned, some guy passed out on the street. Not a con who busted out of the joint four or five days ago. Yeah, but wait a minute. He can make you. I don't know we're in town someplace. He has no reason to make me. What do you think? Every time a cop helps some old lady across the street, he runs a make on her? Hey, uh, what the doctor at the clinic tell you? What's wrong with you? I got the flu. It's okay. I'll get better. It'll go away. Well, the faster the better. As soon as we get this done, get out of the country, they can't find us. You sound like you're getting ready to run before we do the job. And now, wait a minute. I want to take just the same as you. I pulled the same wife sentence for hitting that bank guard. I didn't get off on any easy thing or something. She was my wife. My wife. I... I thought she'd be the last person in the world to turn on me. Arlene. 